What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. We got Amy Luciani in the click today, you guys. And we also have Mozzie in the click today, you guys. Now, I wish today was going to be a good video with nothing but positive vibes, but Amy Luciani just broke up with Mozzie not too long ago, and it has been real messy. Now, allegedly, Amy broke up with Mozzie because of the lack of support and financial stability he was apparently not giving. Amy then took it to Instagram and posted up screenshots of text messages between her and Mozzie. One of them said, I was delusional for giving my all to something that was planning for an exit route. Now that was what Mozzie said. Amy then replied and said, you ain't give your all. You were an opportunist that relied on a woman. You are lazy. You've been lazy since the day I met you. A delusional N-word. Built every brick with me? Question mark. How? By being next to me while my money purchased? What did you build? What brick? Being on a social media app? Going viral with no money to your name still missed the point with pride with pride he then said yeah we both let pride get in the way if it's not your way it's the highway now there was more text that was post out but i'll put that in the end of the video however i do have a lot to say about this situation i do think that things should have been handled way different than what it's being handled but y'all you know you cannot even truly make a comment on somebody else's relationship if you don't know what they're really going through so we cannot take sides and that's what i've been seeing here on social media which brought amy to come out on her instagram to tell her side you're only gonna talk about what he said he said i took everything from him I took everything from him, right? It's only three things that I have taken, guys, and I I'm going to talk about it. So this house, y'all, this house cost a pretty penny, okay? Down payment of the house was $217,000. I paid every penny of the down payment for this house. Every penny. He did not put in $5 towards the down payment of this house. He didn't put 72 pennies on the 217,000 cash that I put down for the house. Upon closing on the house, he knew what the 20% would be. And he led me to think that he had it together and was going to help towards it. Um, granted, I never expected, some of y'all may say I'm crazy for not expecting him to pay half of the 217. Um, and you, you had a right to feel that way. Yes, I paid the entire 100% deposit on the house. Now, real quick before I play the rest of this clip, I just thought I should just say this. At the end of the day, a lot of these females that be in the comments chatting and inserting themselves probably is one of the same females that was out there doing stuff for a bum a broke nigga and was madly in love. Like, people make mistakes. People do things out of love. And that's just that. If you guys notice on the Oprah Winfrey show, when we closed on the house, we were both signing for the house. He was signing a blank piece of paper. Uh -huh. A blank piece of paper? I done heard some crazy sh before, but this has got to be the craziest sh I've ever heard in my life. I'm not even mad because I've been in a relationship before where I had to wear the pants. I was the one buying gifts and saying he did it. So I understand that sometimes you want to protect your man, even though he's not provided, not doing sh so trust me, sis, I know. Okay, the producers will tell you, my realtor will tell you. He was signing nothing, y'all. I signed for the house. The house is 100% in my name. I paid the entire $217,000 on the house. So yes, this is my home. This is my house. Leading up to purchasing the house, when it's time for him to come up, you know, to put his money that he could, I got shitted on. And I know some of y'all would say, well, why did you stay? Why, why did you let him move in? I didn't get this house for us. Let's be clear. I did not get this house if we are going to be together or not. I wanted a house, y'all. I was preparing to have my first baby, get married. I wanted a comfortable house. I'm getting older. You know, I'm not in my early 20s anymore. And I wanted a house. I got tired of a condo. So him not even having a, a penny to help get the house, y'all, was not going to stop me from getting the house. So I just want to make that clear. Some of y'all, and I feel sometimes, like, I feel what y'all saying when you say, you're, you're dumb for, you know, you, you let him come. Listen, y'all, five years with him, me being a woman, my business is kind of moving faster than him. I had already accepted that financially I can do it. 
So to turn around and say, well, I'm not going to move into this house. This is my dream home. I'm not going to move into it because he doesn't have anything to put down. No, that is not what I decided to do. Now, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I was all the way understanding where she was coming from until she said that comment. Like, not for nothing, sis. You were in love with him. He proposed to you. You were looking to have kids, children with him and grow a family. The fact of the matter is you definitely moved in a house with this guy because you loved him. You were supporting him. And that's just that on that. And it's okay to grow apart and it's okay to level up and feel like this is not your person. I mean, everybody is not for everybody, but there is always someone for someone, okay? At the end of the day, from the outside looking in and what you're explaining, it just seems like at the end of the day, you tried with him, you tried to make it work, and he wasn't producing what you wanted him to produce. You thought about it and you chose you first, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's 100% okay to always choose you first. Hello, world. It's your boy, and I'm here doing my morning shit, you and I was just thinking. I just wanted to let y'all know I love y'all. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all for checking in on the boy, on the situation, on everything that's going on. I'm sorry, but yes, I am promoting my album during this time because one thing about it, no matter what you go through in life, you still got to move forward. As long as you living, you get another day to keep moving forward. You can't worry about the past. Of course, you got to capitalize from it. So use that to your advantage. You know what I'm saying? But don't let nothing stop uh, to tear you or from, you know, just getting the way you're trying to go. You know what I'm saying? You got to go out with the old shit and eat some old food. You know what I'm saying? And with the new. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all. Love y'all again. May 13th, Friday 13th. Following that message, he made sure he said, I want to apologize to each and every individual that was invested in our relationship and also want to thank you as well for believing in love. I understand this discouraging. It's only a stage in life to see, will you give up on you? You control your own destiny, even though we would love to have others with us. You have to still believe in what's for you. Please do not tag us in each other's posts. I understand the reasons just asking not to. So to make this process easier. Also, if you want to hear what I have to say, click the link in my bio. Subscribe to my OnlyFans. It's a family use only at the moment. Just BSing, but I will be more direct and open to questions again. Sorry, thanks, and love. Now, Mozzie, we know you was not playing around because people was getting that bag off of OnlyFans now. At the end of the day, it does not matter who put who on, if his sister gave her the vendor, if he gave it or not. This was still very much a loving relationship. They both did come into this relationship with love. We do not know what happened behind closed doors, but it is what it is. I, for one, on people who breaking up, I do not like to take sides unless it is a serious situation like domestic violence, all this other crap. And at the end of the day, there's two sides to every story. They spoke their piece, and I just truly hope that everybody will be able to not make this any more messier than what it is, because I hate when people break up like that. Anywho, I wish them nothing but positive vibes, no negativity. If you guys like this video, make sure y'all guys give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next video. Bye!